Yeah, I got another bite. Let's see if we can use this one. Not very big, but it's a fish. Okay, we're back down here at the dam camping. I'm actually using the stabilizer today, which I don't use very often. These people over here are in trouble. I don't know why. <laughs> but I heard the ranger pull up and tell them to pull their um, lines in. ton of people here at the dam today. We'll get up and go walk around in a second. First I want to show you guys some of the new additions to my sticker collection. Oh, let's go over here and take a quick look. Why does the controller stop working on this? That was weird. Hmm. Still learning this gimbal. Okay, so a lot of these stickers you've seen before. Um, if you're not following these, some of these are YouTubers, some are just general stickers. Uh, the YouTubers, if you're not following them, you should go follow them. I've had Pug and Doodle up there for a while. OnePugLife.com, that's his YouTube channel. This is a new sticker from Wonder Hussy. She has a really awesome exploration channel mostly exploring the desert and the Sierra Nevadas and that kind of area, but really you never know where she's going to go. This sticker is new. It's kind of a joke. Um, they have all these different logos like this that show you the activities you can do in that part of the world. And years ago in the visitor guide, they had one with a guy hiking, one with somebody fishing, one with somebody swimming, and one with bears for bear watching. Well, one year they decided to put the hiking guy inside the bear, so now apparently one of the activities in that area is getting eaten by bears. Um, a lot of these stickers I've had forever. This is new. This is new. I'm not a huge drinker, but anything with a bird dog on it. And bird dog whiskey was way cool. They sent me a handful of their stickers. I haven't found their whiskey yet, and even though I'm not a huge drinker, I do drink occasionally. The next time I see some, I'm going to have to buy it. This one's new. This is new. That's just a junk sticker. I mean, not junk, It's but yeah. It came free when I bought the pepper spray. Got a new sticker from Mike from Living Free. That's his YouTube channel. You're probably already subbed, but if you're not, go sub up. Lewis from Rolling Earthship. He's got a YouTube channel. You should definitely go check him out. Alaskan Gypsy. That's another new one. You should go check their channel out too. And then we've got the old ones that we've had forever. In the Mystery 13. Just Incredibles. Keep on rocking in the free world. Mark, happily houseless. He doesn't have a channel anymore. Which is kind of a bummer. Because if I ever have to switch RVs, I won't be able to replace that sticker. Chris and G Travels. Nomadic Fanatic. That's pretty much my sticker collection for now. You said you guys have seen a lot of these before. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you some of the new ones. We've still got more room. So any other YouTubers who are, happen to be watching this, I don't know why anybody would, but if you're actually watching this and you have stickers and you want one to go up here with everybody else, send one out. Um, I'm going to order one of Dave's stickers soon, just so I can start a bearded people collection over here. <laughs> now, there's a lot of YouTubers who have stickers that, that I want to get, but they're out, 
when I'm ready to order them or I just don't think about it when I have the money or any number of things. So let's go walk out here and kind of just show you guys how busy this campground is on a Memorial Day weekend. Let's go back to wide angle. Sorry about the wind. There was no wind a minute ago. As soon as I start my video, of course, all kinds of wind. And this is just one of the many areas around the lake. All of these different camping areas are packed this weekend. But can you see them? Far as the eye can see. auxiliary dam of course it's a big holiday weekend if you haven't already figured that out from all the vehicles I got me a nice little lakeside camp spot right there some neighbors but so far they've all been cool these people just showed up with the tent but they seem all right I know some of these people and the others I've got to meet since I've been here they've been okay I got both my poles in the water, but I haven't caught anything yet. Let's switch over to wide angle. The wide angle on this phone, the wide angle camera is a slightly lower megapixel, but it still takes pretty good video and photos. You can tell by how choppy the lake is. Um, oh, I hope these waves don't come up and hit my shorts. I'm just wearing, and I've got my wallet right over there. So, let me back up a little bit. Maybe not be so deep. Now the wind is just really churning these waves out. I just wanna catch one fish and I'll be happy, but sometimes you don't. I caught a couple good ones during the derby. I've seen them jump out here, I know they're out here. I'm gonna be here a couple days. I haven't given up yet. But aside from this this constant wind and these waves that are just you know the boats aren't helping, but most of this wave action is from the uh, from the uh, well, the wind. Sorry, total brain fart there. I just had a splash come shoot up my leg. Um, let me get a little more shallow. <laughs> oh, look, what is this? Adam the Woo? No, it couldn't be. Because if that was Adam the Woo, Dave would be parked about 50 yards behind him with binoculars. Uh-oh, is that Dave? Dave, did you rent a truck? Are you over here spying on Adam? I always get a kick out of that when I see RVs that look like other people's RVs. Let's see here. This guy across the way is getting stuck trying to climb Mount Novan Climb. This is when I really wish I had a zoom lens. That van tried to go up that hill on Engineer Point. Got about halfway up and you could see the dust just spinning. Sorry, I don't have my stabilizer, people. And I can't walk any closer because I'll get wet. 
Looks like he backed down and decided, no, we'll take the low road. Probably a smart idea there, bud. Some people swimming out there off the island. There's kind of a road, but you got to drive through. Yeah, the water's probably too deep for most vehicles to get through to get out there. But you can easily walk to it. Yeah, there's some people fishing down here. But what a lot of people don't realize how big this lake is, is most parts of the lake you can only see. It's really hard to see all of the lake from anywhere. If I was out on that point, you could see it. But we've got all this water here up to the dam. And then that there's a little mountain below that big mountain. You can kind of see this group of people camped right here. Right now I'm really wishing I had the stabilizer. On the other side of that there's another dam and another big body of water. Then you've got the center of the lake and you've got a fork that goes out that way which is the south fork with a lot more water. And then over here, around that corner, you've got the North Fork with even more water. And that's where the river runs. Since I've got here, I've spent probably 20 minutes fighting with the stabilizer. It would come on and it would work great. I think maybe it just needs to be charged. Maybe I, I put it up without turning it off completely or something. Because it would work great for about 30 seconds and then the phone would just go start like going all over the place and then just drop like a limp like a limp pecker um <laughs> the vimble gimbal it's a limp pecker gimbal um okay i don't even know where i'm fucking going with that but that's what it, <laughs> what it reminded me of i think my my vimble stabilizer needs viagra for the vimble um we're gonna go over here and show you the ranger station boathouse real quick so, or Lake Patrol Boathouse. Since I've been here, I've seen at least four fire trucks hauling ass towards the part of town I live in. And after the huge, devastating fire we had last year, that has me a little on edge. I don't see any smoke anywhere yet, so I'm not too worried, but I am going to be anxious to get back and... I want to show you guys that, but how do I get down there without breaking my ankle, which I almost broke last knee week when my knee went out. Oh, sorry guys. That's the Lake Patrol boathouse. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what I'm trying to show you here. Oh God, that hurts so bad. <laughs> You can't hear nothing. What I'm trying to show you is how annoying the wind can be when somebody tries to film a video in high wind without a wind guard. No, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This cable, which holds the house up there, has created a concave sort of thing here where it's rubbed back and forth over the years and it's just kind of creating a depression in the rock there. I've got no case on my phone. If I drop it right now, I'm so screwed. Luckily, I do have insurance with my phone company, but I don't want to be paying a deductible. Here comes another fire truck. Oh! There's got to be a big fire somewhere. I don't hear helicopters yet. But it usually takes them about, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes to get them here in the air and fueled up and full of water and ready. I won't be surprised a bit if we have a fire. I'm just kind of hoping it won't be near town this year. I can't see anything because I'm looking right into the sun, but trying to zoom in on where the fire truck's going to be in a second. There it goes. Hope that's in frame. Because I ain't going to get a second shot. 
and the water's not far from the spillway looking at it from this angle I wonder if you guys can see this the lake's barely only half full but there's two of them over there these fire trucks are just something's going on I've got to end this video I probably won't be able to use it anyway real quick before I go let me tell you guys what they're gonna do with the dams we've got this dam here this is the main dam up there's the ranger station and then there's a point that comes out here on the other side of that point there's another dam just like this so there's two dams with a big peninsula of land that sticks out between them they're going to build the dams higher and make the spillway up top there where the ranger station is and move the ranger station to the other side of the lake at least that's what I've been told, and it's going to be a massive concrete spillway that makes this massive concrete spillway seem tiny. Do whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. 